Have you ever been absolutely blown away by the kindness of someone who provided for you just what you needed? As we continue to reflect on the book of Ruth, we saw Naomi and Ruth returning to Bethlehem just at the beginning of the barley harvest. They arrived in time to share in the blessings that God had provided. So Ruth said to her mother-in-law, Naomi, let me go into the fields and pick up behind those harvesters any grain that was left behind. What Ruth was referring to was the ancient practice of gleaning. The needy person would follow behind the harvesters and collect grains left behind. Naomi said to her, go ahead, my daughter. So she went and entered into a certain field. As the old adage goes, a coincidence is a miracle in which God prefers to remain anonymous. As it happened, Ruth came to the field belonging to Boaz, a rich landowner, a pillar of the community, and a relative of Naomi's deceased husband. As you probably have discovered on your journey, God does not always speak through the burning bush, nor part the Red Seas that we come up against. God's kindness is embodied in human action. As Ruth was laboring in the field, Boaz, the rich landowner, arrived. Being a foreigner, Ruth was immediately recognized by Boaz, who treated her with such kindness. Ruth was overwhelmed and wondered why this stranger would be so kind to her. She had been through a lot of hardships and excruciating losses, but even a blind person recognizes when the atmosphere has changed from darkness to light. The tide is turning, hope is being born. At this, Ruth bowed with a face to the ground and asked Boaz, why have I found such favor in your eyes that you would notice me a foreigner? Ruth's question to Boaz is one that you have probably asked many occasions as you recognize the gracious kindness of someone. In this picture, I see Boaz as the Father God figure who, when we least expect it and totally undeserving of it, showers us with kindness, love with no strings attached. There's only one answer to Ruth's question and to yours and mine. It's God's mercy and grace, his unmerited favor. Why did God take notice of you and me? We were all strangers and foreigners to the commonwealth of God's kingdom when he noticed us. Titus 3 verse 5 says, He saved us not because of any good thing that we have done, but because of his mercy. When we had no hope, when we were wandering in the barren land of guilt and shame, he noticed us and came to our rescue and showed himself to be the bread of life. Boaz pronounces a blessing on Ruth by saying, may the God under whose wings you have come to find refuge bless you. And so do I today. May the Lord bless you. Amen.